Welcome to my ninth video in a row on the Trailblazer League Reloaded. I'm currently at rank 9 with the gap to rank 1 being way more than I'd like it to be, but there are thousands of points for me to gain today, and I'm not stopping until I'm back in the top 5 at the very least. I'm looking to hit some huge combo breakers with combat achievements today that should get me back into the running in no time, so let's get into it. I'm sponsoring today's video with my own merch. I launched it especially for leagues with some sick designs, and if you want to go the extra step in supporting me, buying my merch is the best way. I've got a pack watch and troll face and DB branded coffee mugs, hoodies, crew necks, hats, beanies, and more that can all be at your doorstep within the week. So please consider checking it out at didabitter.com. Any purchase directly supports me. Alrighty, that is 25 mil thieving. I'm still editing right now. That gets us to 38,820 points. Probably gonna go do some mining right now as it's efficient. We can come back for 35 mil thieving later. That's a lie. I'm gonna stay here till 35 mil thieving while I edit because it's a free 200 points. And that is 35 mil thieving XP, getting me over 39,000 points. For the first time, there is another 200 point task at 50 mil, 39,020. Still editing, I think I'm gonna go work on that dark crab task now. All right, let's overtake Wooks again with a relog. Boom. All right, let's fish some crabs. All right, and that's 80 points for catching 100 dark crabs, uh, 39,100. All right, the video is still rendering, so I'm gonna get started on the 50 Addy ore for 80 points too. 50 adamant ore mind, we can get out of here. 80 points, 39,180. Didn't take too long at all, actually. I thought it would take way longer. I think it's time to get started on some CAs. We're gonna fly up to like 40,000 points off CAs, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're going in. Oh wait, I need... Do I need it to be hitting me the whole time? I didn't even bring Banker's Note, bro. I'm actually trolling. Death to the Seer King. Was that the one? Probably. Ooh. Ooh, like, don't hit too hard. Don't hit too hard. Okay, perfect. Hit me, Rex. You're hitting me. Boom. Another one, elite call. Oh, and an archer's rig. Nice. Okay. Death to the warrior king. At 100 total tasks completed, it's 200 points. At 300 CA points completed, it's 200 points. And at 304 CA points completed, it's 400 points. Let's do Fremenic Exiles real quick. Boom. Smoked. Did I get me any levels? Ooh, nice like Slayer 92 crafting, 83 rune crafting. Shit, dude. Forty points, surely. Yep. And an elite combat task. How's it looking on these? Six more for two hundred. Sixteen points more for two hundred. Twenty points more for four hundred. Next up is to do Obor without taking any special damage, and I've only got one giant key. And my friend Nine Two really doesn't think I can do it for some reason. <laughs> well, you don't sound how you don't sound like you have too much faith in me. Damn, bro, that was so hard. The <laughs> medium combat toss done, dude. That was, I was panicking there for a second. There we go. Not so great after all. I'm never coming back here. Ever. 14 more points. It is time to do the Cal Fight Queen. There are a bunch of combat achievements I need to get done here. It also drops the Dragon Chain Body in a 1 in 25 drop rate, which is 200 points. And it drops the KQ Head, which locks me out of doing the Desert Diary until I get it, which is also 200 points. And there's also League Tasks for hitting, hitting certain KCs, I want to say from like 50 KC all the way to 300 KC. 
But I'm only going to stay here for a couple kills. Surely. Let's go. Insect deflection. Wait, what? How's it not dead? What? What? Dude, what? That is a cr the what the hell? Grapes, dude, 100 grapes. That's huge, isn't it? For the wines? I'm just it all depends on that dragon chain, I reckon. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> Dragon chain, 200 points, dude. Okay, we're only doing 25 kills. 39,420. Boom. Okay, and that is Cal Fight Queen done 25 times, which is another combat achievement. We're now a Cal Fight Queen adept. We've got 99 out of 100, so when we do one more achievement in general, we're going to get 200 points. When I get three more points, we're going to get 200 points. And when I get seven more points, I'm going to get 400 points. So I'm about to go up 800 points. Let me go to Vorkath. Vorkath time. Ooh, four points. 300 combat achievement points, 200 points. 100 combat achievements. 39,820. Shout out to this absolute legend, Jane Bond. I couldn't find a free world at Deranged Archaeologist. Every noob and their grandma was here, so he let me do it for one kill. <clears throat> do we do it? Do we do it? Master Task, 400 points. That TY, mate. What a beast, dude. GL. Let's go. 400 points, bruh. And that is 10 points for creating a compost potion, putting me at 40,230. Gets me to rank 10. I'm going to be doing some Vorkath today. I'll probably max go to 50 kills. It's not really efficient to be here until I get the shadow, as the mage just isn't that strong. You also kind of can't wooks walk the poison phase or anything, because the mage animation doesn't drag you back in like I did it with melee or range. So honestly, maging Vorkath is pretty hard. One Vorkath kill. It only took like 50 minutes. Got some black dragon hide. Um, we'll take it all. Good fight. It's 80 points getting me to 40,310. Gonna go do a phantom Muspa kill as well. I've never done one of these before, but I'm gonna have to learn. What's happening now? Do they follow me? Oh shit, I didn't realize that. I've been corrupted. Easy. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what do I do here? Done. Broom. Defeat Phantom Muspa. Oh, that was a CA2, huh? Whoa, Ancient Essence. 80 points. Down. Looks like he can make a Green Dead Shield. 40 points. 40,430. Is there anywhere I can buy drugs of water quickly, though? Oh, I've got 350 jugs of water, bro. It's a wrap. Ooh, for a minute, 100 jugs of wine. What the hell? 4740. And that is 40 points for completing the easy Fremenic Diary, 40,510. We need to do the medium diary, and then we take rank 7. Boom, 40,550. Rank 7 over GLM Tom. Boom. Yeah, I was just taking a screeny, mate. Boom. No, 90 mining. Let's do Fremmy hard as well. Boom. Let's use these all in mining real quick. 800k, 40k. 
120k, and this one's going to be like 240k. Damn, 92 mining, halfway there now. With the drop rates for the Revenant weapon upgrades and the Void Waker pieces actually being boosted now, I can go back to Vedion. The big Vedion does have a better drop rate for the pieces, and I do have a Vigorous Chain Mace now, and there are no more KC tasks for me to hit, so I might as well just go there and try and get it. I got it, I got it, I got it! 3kc Skull of Vedion. Let's go! Equip. 40,830 points. And this unlocks everything for us. We can go do Slayer, we can go back to Sire, we can kill Vorkath. This is our best weapon in the game until we get the Shadow. I'm gonna do Slayer for a bit because I want to test out this new Scepter. My toss right now is still revs from the last time. And even though I've completed all the rev weapons, they are my main source of money for the entire league. And I still need to complete the Ancient Obelisk as well. I also need to do superiors for the Imbued Heart and Eternal Slayer Ring, as well as they're just being tossed for killing like 50 superior monsters, so a whole lot of points that I'm about to get. These things are just gonna get nuked, you reckon? Oh my god. I gotta go low HP. I gotta go 1 HP. Because they're never gonna get a hit on me, you know what I mean? They're never gonna get a hit on me, 9-2. Bro, it's I'm one hit off one hitting the demon, bro. That's so sad. Give me abyssal demons. I'll take that. Minions of Scabaras. We're good on that one, buddy. Dust devils. Nice. Okay, let's see what I can hit with this new accursed scepter with the smoke barrage. Sixty nine. I need I need to hit harder. What if I what if I just ice barrage them straight up? That's my question right now. 74. Damn, okay, smoke barrage is probably still the way. But we're hitting big as hell. 69s are still very big numbers. I wish I had an imbued heart though. Oh, we're definitely gonna get 99 slayer today, depending on what toss we get, but we're definitely getting it. I'm flying through XP right now, 97 slayer, and I'm 1.2 mil away from 35 mil HP, so that's two sets of points we're gonna get. That Slayer task went quick as hell, 9 Larens keys, and we got some more superiors done for that 50 superior task, which will also be 200 points. Let's go get another task. Dang. Jellies. With Ice Barrage and orbing down all the way to 1 HP, I can actually finally one hit a Slayer monster. I can max Barrage at 75, and the Jellies are just gone. I really need to get an Imbued Heart so I can start doing these to more monsters, so I need to pull some superior RNG. Task literally took like 3.5 minutes. 159 Necreal, bro. Game. Okay, and that's 35 million hit points XP. Very, very nice. 200 points for that. We're at 21 mil death XP too, so eventually we're going to be hitting 25 mil for 200 points to do that. We've joined the 41,000 points club. Nice. 98 Slayer too, damn. We're, we're speeding through. That's that task done. Let's get another one. I should be able to two hit these every single time. Eternal Gem. Wait, is that a task? That's that task done. Let's go get the Eternal Slayer Ring for 200 points. I kind of wish that was Imbued Heart because they're both 200 points and I can really, really use the Imbued Heart. Fun fact, the first ever Trailblazer League, I didn't know you could craft Slayer Rings at all, so I was spending 75 Slayer points on a new Slayer Ring every single time. Here we go. Slayer Ring Eternal, 200 points, 41,230. Now what task are we going to get is the question. Dust doubles into necks or something? Oh, I predicted it. Ooh, ghost score, defeat superior slayer, defeat, defeat 50 superior slayer creatures. 200 points, bro. I feel like Mazin is prime saying that. 41,430, let's go. And that is reach level 99 slayer, another 200 points, 41,630. I need to go do some 10 point toss real quick that can get me rank five. All right, that's that toss done. Let's go take rank five real quick. Always got to save the 10 point toss for a little takeover. 4, 41,640, getting us to rank 5. Let's hit a quick relog here. Sorry, Wooks. I enjoyed being under you, and I'm sure I'll do it again sometime. Ooh, I got Abyssal Demons. Let's go. I'm not sure what my Sire kill count is, and I'm not going all the way to 300. I just know at 50 more kill, at 150 KC, I'm going to get another 200 points, so it's definitely worth it. Another Unsire. Do I even need to open these anymore, though? I don't. Oh, yeah, for the log. And that is 150 Sire KC. I'm going to skip the task now. I'm not going to do it anymore. There is a KC task all the way to 300. And towards the end of the league, if we have to do that, we will. But I'm not spending any more time here. 
40, 41,840. Gave us a bunch of nice supplies, some seeds, and some alcohols. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta fucking give in my sire thing? You can't just keep it at the bank, dude. Alright, we're gonna get the head 9 2. I got a whip, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna do some Vorkath for a little. Like I said, I'm not gonna do a high amount of KC. Just until I can get the League Toss for doing 5 kills in a row without taking any special damage. And until I get the Assembler. Once I get the Assembler, that's a huge combo breaker too. Because I already have the Missouri kit to make it into a Missouri Assembler. My issue is the only time I've done Vorkath was on the previous League where I had a Dragon Hunter Lance and I was just Wooks walking it. And the Wooks walk kind of just did itself. You ran away and attacked it. It was perfect. With this one, the Mage doesn't drag you anywhere because you have such a long distance. So I'm having to stand at the back and kind of just walk around. And for some reason, I just kept stop walking into the poison. But yeah, I need to do five kills in a row without taking any special damage. No! Damn, dude. I was on my third one. And I spawned where I was walking. Boom! Dodging the dragon. Defeat Vorkath five times without special damage. 42,000 points. Let's go. Wasn't even hard. Wooks just took over me, but... I'm taking back over him. I didn't realize there was 400 points for completing all the combat achievements for the Jad challenges, and Wooks keeps overtaking me, so I need to out Wooks Wooks. So before I go back to Vorkath, I'm going to do the Jad challenges. I was putting it off because my 82 strength isn't going to hit too hard on the ones I need to melee, but fuck it. The rest of the top page has already done it, and it's the best points per hour at this stage. First up, I need to do 5 Jads into 6 Jads back to back without failing. I also managed to complete that in under 5 minutes, which is one of the combat achievements I needed to get done. I was just going to try it again later if I didn't get it done. But now we need to do 6 jazz without failing or we have to restart. It wasn't a fluke, that's that one done. Now I have to do three jads without having anything in my inventory. And with how strong my relics are with the mage relic and the scepter, should be pretty easy. Supplies, who needs them? Up next, I gotta do three jads again but kill each jab with a different attack style. Done nice and easy. Now it's time to spend like 40 minutes killing two jads with melee only and then four jads with melee only. That's two jabs of the melee, four, and we're done. I am not even trolling you when I said that took 30 minutes. 400 points for doing all of the combat achievements for the Jad challenges. 
42,440 points. Wooks keeps coming for me, man, but I just did overtake him ahead by 340 points. Let's go back to Vorkath. Vorkath's had pre 50 KC, bro. I'm gonna stay in here. I'm gonna stay in here, G. We're out of here. All right, let's make the Avas Assembler. That's 80 points right there. 42,520 now. If you're enjoying the video so far, please remember to subscribe so you don't miss another one. Use, and that is 200 points for equipping a Missouri Assembler. 42,720, goddamn, we've been flying up today. Jesus Christ, even when Abby's at 48K, but let's hit a refresh. 42.7K, putting some space between me and Wooks and TDS. Gonna test the Scepter out at Spindle as I'm pretty sure it'll rinse it. I still need the ring for 200 points and the crossbow upgrade for 200 points as well as the Void Waker piece, which can be 200 points once I get all the pieces. There's also KC Toss at 150 and 300. Red Spider Eggs, baby, we take those. That's Herbore XP right there. Fangs of Venonat is 68 KC. Let's go, upgrade for the crossbow. Red Spider Eggs again, let's go. Oh shit, again. Void Waker piece, all. Oh, back to, was that back to back Spider Eggs? Ooh, treasonous ring, 85 KC. Boom. 200 points. 42,920. I'm going to go make the crossbow. I want to go on 43K. I need to. Web Weaver build put on 43,120 points. There is an 80 point toss for about 150 kills, and I'm only 40 kills off of it. And I still need the Void Waker piece. And for completion and rank one competition, I'm going to need to do all 300 kills anyway. I'm going to do a bit of spindle now, and then I'm going to do the big Venonatus with my friend 9-2, as doing it is probably better, as there's a better chance we get that Void Waker piece. Um, it does seem good. Mage. Okay, yeah, this is faster. <laughs> oh, do you see that? Bro, you're stealing my MVP, bro. Dude, I hit you're the You're not killing six. the spiders, bro, you're being greedy. <laughs> the friendship is getting tested right here. You're, you're so greedy, bro. And why are you no sitting so low HP, bro? Fuck. Because I'm trying to prop the redemption thing. Just don't don't come next to me. I might oh enjoy. shit, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That is terrified. Okay, that is defeat Venonatus 150 times, getting me to 43,200 points. Gonna stop there. I'm gonna have to do 150 more kills or potentially more to get that Void Waker piece eventually, but I'm gonna move on to some other things. Maybe let's go get 35 mil cooking for another 200 points. 3.5k Karams. Let's go train our cooking. And that is 35 million cooking XP, 200 points. A very efficient 200 points, if I do say so myself. You can get like 13 mil cooking XP an hour with Karam Bonds, which is pretty crazy. That gets us to 43,400. My hand hurts. There's no way I'm going to 50 mil right now. It's another hour or so, so it's still efficient, but I can't be fucked. 43,400. I have 56 rune bars right now. I need 100 to make 1,000 rune dart hits for another 200 points. And I'm just going to do it at rune dragons. I'm pretty sure I can just AFK it with blood barrage. There's also a chance I get the Visi or the dragon limbs. Um, maybe there's something else for a bunch of points as well. We got 100 rune eye bars from rune dragons and some rune loot too. Let's make it into dart tips. Alrighty, and that is a thousand rune dart tips for 200 points, 43,600. We're close to 44k. All right, I'm gonna go finish off this Abbey Demon task. I'm working on 25 mil Slayer. I'm not really working on it. I kind of just want it for the points. Abyssal Demons have an HP of 150, and I'm pretty sure my max on one HP is a 75. Am I correct? Yes. So I pretty much one hit these. I just have to hit them twice, and with my relic, that almost happens every single time. Cool. Let's see what I hit if I just use the spell. 66 and 66. Nope, that's not a kill. Come on, give me the imbued fart. Damn it. All right, that's that task done. How much XP are we away? 180k, let's go get another one. Ooh, back to Abyssal Demons, nice. 25 million defense XP, getting us 200 more points. 43.8k, we're close to 44k right now. Let's open these 40 Larence keys. I wanna see nothing but pure essence and herblore supplies. I don't even know if you can get herblore supplies from these, to be fair. Maybe some dragon fruit tree seeds, some farming supplies. I'll take those too. So far, nothing though. Oh my god, this might be the. Oh, Ranar seeds? Actually, those aren't good at all. I don't know why I got excited. Dragon arrow tips. Dagon eye hat. 
Ranar seed. Bro, this is the worst pull of Lion's Chest from all time. Ooh, 7k pure essence. We take those. We're getting a full Dagon High set again. Oh, we literally just did get a full Dagon High. Bro, I, I'm opening my Lion's Keys. I got Dagon High hat on 86, robe top 87, robe bottom on 88. <sighs> That's pretty mad. All right, 20 more. Room plate legs, steel bars. I don't know if that's useful at all. I doubt it. These uncut gems are kind of nice though. The redwood tr oh, I can't plant that. I don't know why I got excited. Uncut diamonds, more uncut diamonds, uncut rubies, raw sharks. We're good on those. More down. Okay, we'll take the crafting XP. Very much so. Magic seeds will definitely take the farming XP. Raw sharks. Can't do anything with the redwoods. Come on, get, get another Dagon eyepiece. Come on, give me the pure essence. Okay, well, we pulled 7k pure essence, which is nice, and some magic seeds, which will help us on 99 farming. Rank 5 with a solid amount of distance, both above me and below me. It is time to get some sleep, so I'll be back to grinding tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss tomorrow's video. And if you want to go that extra step to support me, go to didabitter.com and buy a piece of my merch. Over 40 of you guys have already done so, so I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.